the final weigh-in for Dave. My name is Jody Bunting and this is another one of our live coaching sessions and this week is the end of our free six-week course. All the slimmers are coming on to reveal their final weigh-in and we are of course going to discuss their action plan, what they're going to do from here. So Dave has just requested to come on the heading in connecting and here he is hello big round of applause for dave for making it to the final way <laughs> so well done dave first of all great work thank you just committing to it and losing is obviously an achievement in itself however let's tell everybody what you've done this week uh, so this week I've lost a further three pounds. Amazing. <laughs> and that is a real well-deserved three pounds as well, isn't it, Dave? Uh, I've worked hard to get that off, yeah. <laughs> so tell everybody what happened on Saturday morning. Was it Saturday morning when you weighed? You weren't happy with it, so you went for another run? <laughs> well, I did say I'd make my final weigh in either um, Saturday or today so i went for a run on saturday just did five, i think i did about five just over 5k and um, came back weighed myself and i was uh 13 13 and about three ounces <laughs> so, I tr so i tried everything <laughs> cut my toenails <laughs> um i thought no that's not gonna go so I uh, I got myself back dressed in my running gear, went out and did another 3K and came back and got on the scales at 13.12. Perfect. Great. So just the science behind it, just in case anybody doesn't know, a lot of boxers and stuff do this as well. Do loads of cardio because obviously it gets rid of the water in your muscles, in your body. Uh, and this is why it does help on the scales as well. But also it burns the calories. That That's the other thing yeah. that it's actually doing. So yeah. the proof is in the pudding, as they say, and well done. Yeah. So your total weight loss is 16 pounds, also known as one stone and two pounds. No, it's 18 pounds. And more pounds. importantly, oh, sorry. It's 18 pounds. I was 15, two and got down to 13, 12. I know, sorry. My maths are terrible. <laughs> It's my Valentine's bow tie setting me off. It's the glare on the screen. Uh, yeah, so that's 18 pounds, which is one stone and four pounds, which is fantastic. Yeah, I'll chuck for that. Um, I'm really happy what, with what's that. All, what was also interesting, obviously my calorie count has been aiming at losing weight. So after my weigh-in on Saturday, uh, it was my granddaughter's birthday party on Saturday. So I ended up having four or five pints on Saturday afternoon. We came back home and we had pizza with a couple of little ones. Um, yesterday I didn't eat especially healthy either. So I thought, I'm going to get on the scales on Monday. It's not going to be any better. But I have done the runs, obviously. Um, when I say the runs, I mean five kilometre runs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and interesting, I got on the scales this morning. I was still 13-12, uh, so. Wow, that's great. So another week. So just goes to show on. that the just goes to show that the exercise has obviously been balancing out everything else. So that's fab. Yeah, yeah. So uh, quite happy with that. My my primary goal was to lose the stone. My secondary goal was always try to get below fourteen stone. So I've ticked those two boxes. Which you, yeah. So you're thirteen twelve, which is fantastic. Just to see that new number is inspiring, isn't it? Yeah. So now it's uh, aiming to get down to the thirteen seven. Yeah, so that's your eventual goal. And share with everybody your fitness um, results as well, because it's not only just weight loss, just your fitness has really improved, hasn't it, over the last six weeks? Yeah, um, there's, on the Garmin watch and the Garmin uh, app, there's a, a profile in your performance statistics which shows your VO2 max, which you can describe better than me. But when I started this program my vo2 max was in the red just into the red section and gave you a score of 37 so the lower the score the better and it's now down to 34 and it's gone through the yellow and into the green 
And it now tells me I have a fitness age of somebody 58 instead of a fitness age of somebody 64. And it also tells me that I'm in the um, upper 35% of people my age. So I'll take that. Which is just such an achievement, isn't it? And I, and to be honest, I think that, you know, the numbers of the VA2 max and stuff, the, the actual age really, you know, really comes home to people because that just it just makes you stand up and realize that you know this exercise is making me physically years and years younger yeah. which is obviously really inspiring isn't it well that's the thing it's what, what you don't sometimes realize is you know you're carrying an extra bit of weight and uh, like i've said to a few people recently if you look at 18 pounds if you go to the supermarket with an empty basket and you pick up nine bags of sugar and somebody said, right, put that in a rucksack and carry that round for the next six months, a year, two years, whatever. You'd tell them, not, an, not a hope in hell, I'm not carrying that round all day. Because <laughs> it's actually really heavy. Yeah. But that's what you're doing, and that's the pressure you're putting on yourself by carrying that extra weight around. So inevitably, it's going to put more stress on your heart. Inevitably, it's going to uh, affect your whatever health statistics you want to look at. And of course, you, you'll have noticed as well that my runs have got quicker. Yes, I was going to say that. What's been your personal best over the last six weeks? Uh, over the last six weeks, I've got just below 28 minutes, so about 27.50 something, I think it was, um, which is around about my part run PB. I was hoping to make part run this weekend, but for, for different reasons we couldn't. But I will make part run um, probably this coming weekend because I, I really want to have a go at my PB there, which is... That's just under 27 minutes. I think it's something like 26, 48 or something like that. We are coming to Alveston this week, me and the gang. So we'll okay. be there to support you on. Yeah, well, I, I fancy trying to get get that done. I fancy trying to uh, beat my PB, my um, Alveston Park PB. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and stay fairly healthy this week. Maybe not be quite 100% good, but be mostly good. Which allows them just staying off the alcohol. Yeah, exactly. Thing, won't it? Not massive, not big on alcohol anyway. But weekends, you know, if you get invited out with a few people, it sometimes ends up being three or four or whatever. But not big on alcohol every weekend or anything like that. I can certainly live without it. Um, but uh, what's yeah, been yeah. your biggest challenge on the course? Um, as you know, crisps is a weakness of mine. <laughs> So, so from Leicester, walkers yeah. and all that. <laughs> so staying off the crisps has been tricky. Um, but the other thing that I probably wanted to say was, although this has been a six-week course, a reminder for people who, who well, some know, obviously, and, and you and I certainly know, I had a week where I completely went off it during my birthday week, put on five pounds. The following week, I got back on it, worked really hard to get the five pounds back off. So effectively. I've lost this 18 pounds over a four week program. If you take the two weeks of putting on and losing back to, to where I was. So, Absolutely, so in many ways, yeah. it's been like a four week plan. Which is an amazing achievement to lose over a stone, you know, a stone and a quarter over a quarter in four weeks. is just phenomenal, isn't it? But said to you before, it's, it only comes down to hard work. It's, you know, whatever you eat or whatever you exercise is down to you. You know, you can eat as much or as little as you like. You can exercise as much or as little as you like. Nobody force feeds me and nobody stops me from going out the door and exercising. So, yes, there's been days. Today's the 14th 5K run consecutively, which is hard. You know, there's been days when it's been raining or it's cold or you just don't feel like it or the muscles are still aching. But I wanted to push myself to get out there to, to get it done because I knew it would burn more calories this last couple of weeks. And have you really started to notice a difference on your running ability according to your nutrients now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. When you when you're running consecutively day after day after day after day, inevitably the legs are going to hurt. Um, but I did do this sort of thing a couple of years ago. We did run every day in May, so we did five k every day in May. And I think I said before on a previous video because it was coming up to Sharon's birthday, we. Had, we elongated that and we ran 5k every day for 50 days. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do 60 days this time for me, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the thought had crossed my mind. Um, but when, when I did that last time, 
between days sort of four and eleven were the hardest because that's when the legs were really really hurting because the first bit's yeah. kind of okay it's only three or four days then it really starts to hurt and burn um but then you get past that and your legs get used to running a lot so i'm kind of in that phase a little bit at the moment although today's run was probably tougher than the last few days don't know why just sometimes you just have good days and bad days running like everybody will with park runs you have good days and bad days yeah uh, what's been your highlight of the course i think just progress you know just the fact that you know i committed myself to doing it and seeing the results on the scales you know inevitably if you're setting out to lose weight and you're not losing weight it's frustrating i think there was a a period during i think it was can't remember it's week two or week three where i was i felt like i was working hard and and exercising and doing the right things nutritionally but it wasn't coming off it was sort of it's a bit of a plateau and then seemed to burst through that so that was a challenge but yeah it's motivating when you you're losing weight um water is always a challenge for me but i bought the two liter two liter bottle with all the little increments on it that tell you you know you should be at this stage by right. 11 o'clock and one o'clock and everything else and <laughs> me being competitive if it says i should be there by one o'clock i ended up trying to be there by 11 o'clock <laughs> <laughs> that's good um, so yeah that, that that helped me with the water really and i've been consistently yeah. doing two liters of water a day which is, is definitely flushed out the fat so what things are you going to be able to keep up or what things did you find quite easy that's going to help you get through to your goal i think there's, there's two or three things that I've, I've particularly taught myself on this course compared to previous courses uh porridge and, and Porridge for breakfast or Rivita and pate for lunch is a, a consistent in my life anyway and has been for the last 10, 12 years since we did Derby's Biggest Loser. So I still do that very frequently. Um, I've kind of got a, a new love for um, scrambled eggs, smoked salmon and smashed avocado, which I didn't have before. Um, so that's perfect. That's, that's something I, I really now enjoy. But I wouldn't want to eat it every day because I think it would get dull. And I know porridge is dull, but I do that for a purpose rather than for an enjoyment. Yeah. Um, and then the the slimmers from, I think it's Aldi, the slimmers curries, which are only like 400 odd calories. I've really enjoyed those. Yeah. And they're a filling meal, really low calories. So you feel like you're having a treat without actually blowing a shed load of calories. And we also made, not so long ago, a big batch make. If you remember in week two, probably it was, I shared it with a group that I made a uh, five bean chilli, which generally is a bit bland tasting, but chucked a few extra little spices in, which didn't really harm too much in terms of calorie count, but makes it really tasty. Yeah. And it's, again, a low-calorie meal. So if you chuck one or two of those in every week, it allows for you know, the other occasions when you, your calorie count's a little bit higher. Does so you live with a vegetarian? Does Sharon like avocados? Yes, that's good. So that's something you can enjoy together. <laughs> yeah. And I was just going to say as well about the ready meals and the the prep meals. You know, again, living with a vegetarian, it's good to have those sort of like chicken aldi meals that you suggested, because obviously yeah. then you're not buying big chunks of meat, which obviously a vegetarian wouldn't be too keen on hanging around the fridge to be fair she's 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 fine with it she's she's not anti okay. meat. she just wouldn't choose to eat it herself for her own personal reasons okay um yeah. but you know she has cooked steak and she's cooked all sorts of things in in the past but she's just not that keen for herself so it's not a case of oh no you can't have meat because i don't have meat so you know, it's uh it's okay we find uh find solutions has she bought you a nice big steak for Valentine's Day, Dave? No, actually, I'm, I'm cooking tonight, so... Uh, oh, are to, you? Oh, great. <laughs> she used to took her granddaughter home, because we always have a granddaughter here on a Monday. So um, the oven's on at the minute, warming up, ready. For after this video, oh, of <laughs> Wonderful. Right, Dave. Well, thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure. Um, and obviously, I will keep everyone updated. Uh, and in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, when you get to your target, uh, then we'll do a before and after photos or when you get to your goal and share it with okay. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a few people have already said we can tell I've lost weight and my face is a little bit thinner and stuff like that. So 
that's always nice when people pass comments and, and they've noticed and people don't have to say that but if people could notice then you know you don't have to go oh look at me i've lost loads of weight people say oh you know if you look a lot thinner what you've been doing then obviously you can have the conversation but um yeah so it's always nice when it's it's seen and recognized i feel better i feel thinner obviously i know i'm thinner i know i'm in better shape than i was um and quite significantly so so it gives me now the kick to to push on um see how far i get i certainly want to be below 13 and a half stone by the end of next month um and probably <laughs> might even try and get nearer to 13 we'll see uh, is Tina's it, asking Mr. Then. Star how much have you lost? He's lost three uh, pounds this week, which is eighteen pounds in total. But more important, Tina, is is scientifically a thirty year old when it comes to exercise <laughs> now. <laughs> I think that was exaggerating slightly. <laughs> Well, you've do certainly lost a, a couple of decades off your life, anyway, haven't you? Which is well, great. maybe, maybe. Certainly in better shape than I was. Or should I say, or should I say, added a few decades to your life, which is great. Well, <laughs> if, you look, if you look after your body, you look after your heart, you've, you've got every chance of living a longer life, I think. Absolutely. Great. Right. Well, thank you so much, Dave. Enjoy your cooking and your Valentine's evening. Great day to finish on. Uh, and as I said, we'll share your before and afters when you get to your final goal in a couple yeah. of weeks. I'll keep sharing with you stuff that I've uh, that I've shifted since. And if I, uh, if I get lower weights on the scales, I'll, I'll share them with you in a personal message too. Yeah, please do. Great. Thank you very much, Dave. That's all right. Thank you for all your encouragement and support, as always. My pleasure. It's been great. All right, Jody. Thank you very much. And thanks for everybody right. for their uh, kind messages and support. Greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. They love you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye for now. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.